<laughs> to tell us about the 2023 Leeds Grenville Small Business and Trade Show, Dave Annable is here with us. Hey, welcome to the program. And I'll tell you, after all these years, you're getting better at these long names. You didn't even stumble. It was perfect. I need to make them longer. Don't be making them longer. <laughs> I didn't. I was going to say, well, on your flyer, you've got LG. But I thought that that's that's just cheating. Yeah, it's so I, I don't know why I keep coming up with the long names, but I do. So hats off to you for cha- for conquering them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So when is the 2023 Leeds and Grenville Small Business and Trade Show? Uh, This year we're coming for a three-day event. So it'll be March 2nd, March 3rd, and March 4th, uh, which is leading us into March break. We did it earlier this year, and uh, it's the Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, I I like that idea. And where are you going to have this? Uh, We're back again at the Leo Boyvin Community Center in Prescott. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, every year I attest to the uh, benefits of that facility. Uh, With the ice not being uh, in play, uh, literally we can have it throughout the winter. We don't have to worry about hockey clubs or raising or lowering the ice or or what have you. So it's a a great venue uh, and just the right size to pull off an event of this magnitude. So you're telling us we don't have to worry about ice, we won't be skating from one booth to another? Uh, If the weather keeps going the way it is, we probably won't even have to worry about it outside. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So what is the entry fee into the trade show? Uh, So for for people coming in, it's Uh uh, $2 per person. Uh, Children 12 and under are free. And this year we've brought in a a few um, not-for-profit clubs, uh, one being the South Grenville Food Bank. Yes. Uh, They will be back on site. I think it's the first time in four years they've been with us at the trade show we're excited to have them back and we're you know we want to encourage people to um, help fight the need uh, these food banks are facing and yes. bring a perishable item or a donation uh, you know we, we don't want it to have a hands-out mentality at the show uh, but this is a worthy charity that uh, really needs our focus right now and is in high demand so, uh, so we've brought them in yeah I agree and I think that's nice I think it's nice that uh, you know you and it's very reasonable I mean two dollars yeah yeah. Look, look what you're going to see. So vendors, how many uh, small businesses and um, vendors and other people and organizations? How many? So in, in whole, we've got uh, 65 vendors. 65. That, yeah, 65 vendors. Uh, this will probably be the last year that we do the IKEA layout where you're going to walk through in uh, a single direction. We did that because of COVID. Yes. Uh, we're going to entertain it for one more year. Okay. Uh, the adverse way we can get about 90 vendors. Um, and we do have a list since we've sold out. Um, so 65 vendors, I believe there's five or six not-for-profits we try to work in, uh, but but all of them, uh, not-for-profit or not, they're all small local businesses that require our support. And these people are taking time out of their busy schedules, focus away from their businesses to go out and shake hands again, yes. talk face-to-face, educate people. So uh, the value uh, is there for the public and the loss is there for the small business because the time is the most valuable thing and they're they're taking a sacrifice of their time to be there for you so we're hoping people will come out so who who can we expect to see there and who can we expect to talk with uh, the big features that we have that are uh, we try to have a few new ones every year yes. uh, freedom RV is mm-hmm. is there so we're gonna have camping trailers Ooh. in in that people can look at they've got a big blowout sale happening right now uh because of their new build uh so they're they're a good attraction that's going to be there uh in addition we're uh, proud to have redwood homes they're bringing back a tiny home good. uh so we've like got that. a 30 foot uh tiny home model that's being constructed right now i was uh-huh. just on the phone before coming in uh they're doing plumbing and electrical as we speak so it will be there and it will be ready uh, on top of that, you know, yours truly, I'll be there as architectural, uh, but we've got a good mix of electricians, HVAC, uh, which is your heating and ventilation, yes. um, financial, vehicles, uh, home maintenance in general, uh, and then of course, uh, the family fund, the, uh, uh, what is it, Edwardsburg Cardinal, Prescott, and Augusta Fire Department have teamed up. Oh, uh, nice. They've got miniature firefighter outfits that are a big <laughs> hit with the kids. You get to put out fires. Uh, they're always there as good. And then we've got uh, No Go Coffee Company. Mm-hmm. We'll be there with coffee and some beverages. And Windmill Brewery and the Bridgeview Restaurant will be there with the license so that there's alcohol. Uh, you can 
walk the floor with your beer uh, or grab a bite to eat for lunch and, and check the show out. That's nice. That's I think you've covered just about all the bases. That, yeah, we try to get needs. a good sense. Yeah. Like we, we limit our vendors to only four of every profession. Uh, real estate and HVAC seem to be the ones that always cap us out because they love the trade shows. Yes. Uh, so they'll all be there as well. But but it's, it, you know, you don't want to walk through and see 70 furnaces. No. So no, we try no, to have no. a good diversity of it. And all the municipalities are there in strength and form. They'll all be there to answer questions. So you'll see mayors, council people. Uh, so it gives you an opportunity to touch base with them as we approach spring and what your needs are and concerns. Yes, and why not? Exactly. Why, you know, it's, it's, it's all about communication. Of, it is. It is. Indeed, it is. Um, the approved professionals, yes. is, is this um, through the yeah, this, organization? Yeah, this, va- is? this oh, okay. event is proudly hosted by the Ontario Approved Professionals. Uh, this is our... I think this is our ninth year doing ninth trade show. Yeah, ninth year doing the trade show, and Whoa. there's there's more on the page coming. Uh, we're hoping to expand to a Kingston show, uh, an Ottawa show, and hopefully a fall Brockville show. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're working on right now. So it's 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 all about again. It's the communication and showing the importance of small business. Yes. And the the best part is is test running this in Prescott, a smaller community than Brockville. Um, they've shown an interest in supporting the small business that supports their kids, their hockey teams, their families. So we will keep coming and keep providing this type of uh, venue uh, as long as the community keeps supporting those small businesses. That's good. That's very yeah. good. Please tell our viewers, what is the um, uh, approved professionals? Uh, we're a mashup of your Better Business Bureau or uh, an administrative authority per se, uh, but we're really boots on the ground. This was this was born and re- conceived here in Brockville as Leeds and Grenville approved, as mm-hmm. has blossomed into Ontario appro- approved, uh, and we background check and vet annually everyone so we know who they are and what they say they are is true uh that they're carrying licenses uh ontario skill trades uh insurances what have you that protects the end consumer Mm -hmm. so it saves the nasty step of hiring somebody that probably shouldn't be doing what they're offering uh losing money time effort uh, which is all valuable to people today as yes, we yes. rebuild the economy. Mm-hmm. Uh, in addition to that, for the businesses, we advocate municipal on the municipal level. Um, provincially, if you want an advocation, we always say the chambers, the provincial level, and CFIB yes. would be your federal level. Right. Uh, they're doing a great job on both fronts there. Uh, so anything in the municipal level, but the networking and the communication, uh, I always go to the one story about the post office strike of, about mm-hmm. eight years ago. We had somebody that had never sent an email to somebody that had never mailed a letter. And listening to that conversation really built strength in what we're trying to do is really blend that together and educate the newcomers to the old comers. There's, you know, wisdom in age Mm -hmm. and stupidity in youth. (laughs) We need to get to the middle. (laughs) (laughs) So, so Dave, how many members do you have? Uh, Right now in Leeds and Grenville, we've got about 108 members. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cornwall, we're sitting around, I think around 32. We've just kicked off Ottawa. I think we're 20 strong there. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. Kingston, we're at about a 30 to 40 person uh, membership level. Uh, You know, it's all the bigger picture. Canada approved is a thing. It is a corporation that exists. We're not there yet. I'm not Mm going to go from broad. Rockville to BC, uh, <laughs> but someday. Yes. So yes, in we're, the we're we're looking to any avenue that needs help, and uh, it's there. So if if someone needs, say, um, I don't know, a craftsperson, like um, uh, they want to redo their their kitchen. Yep. Yeah, you go onto the website and it's all built into categories. You can pick hairstylists, mm-hmm. real estate, insurance, financial advisors, propane suppliers, whatever. Uh, you pick the category, it'll go down. Uh, when you go to the base site, if it triggers to say uh, some people don't have their geolocations on on their devices, it'll say there's none in, I, mine comes up in like, Coburg all the time. I don't know what it is. So apparently I'm in Coburg. Um, But it'll come up and say, oh, we don't have one there, but the next town over has one and it'll show the listing for it. So we're we're, we're growing and building. 108 doesn't answer everyone's concerns. Well, no, but it takes time. Exactly. And the the, the big part to it is there's a filter to it. We have a public review system. If you have an issue with somebody, uh, we will follow through with it and investigate the situation and shed some light for both parties on it. 
right. and right. and report if we have to to what authority needs to know about the individual mm -hmm. uh, or tell you you're crazy and they did it right and there was no they issue yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. it's it's good to have the public's input on that so fully open to review by the public and and you know most of the time we get the five stars you know so it's it's people are doing a good job in the organization yeah no that's awesome thank you for that because uh, um, oftentimes you need an avenue to go to secure someone that you know is, is going to be able to come into the house and and you know that they uh, they are you know approved Leeds and Grenville approved professional and that they're going to do the work and they're going to do what they say they're going to do yeah we found a yeah. good avenue to like senior support services and some of the other yeah. uh, victim services uh, we partner with them a lot because we've done that background vet and they're able mm -hmm. to send them into those styles of homes yes but everyone needs to do their due diligence mm -hmm. just because somebody drives a pickup truck doesn't mean they're a carpenter or have a hammer in their hand exactly eh? and, there you and go. we see so much of it and there's just nobody doing that job right so getting back to and then these are going to be some of the people that uh you know the public will be uh ch or they'll be able to chat with when they come to the, the yeah, trade 20, show. 27 yeah. of the vendors are approved professionals mm -hmm. uh, i would love to fill the show with approved professionals and we're we're, we're getting there uh, but 27 of them of them will be there they'll have the ontario approved logo on the floor uh, the concrete floor in front of their booth so yes. you will fully know that you're talking to an approved professional uh, and they, they support us across the board. They'll also be in the approved professionals booth uh, volunteering yes, uh, throughout. Throughout, throughout the uh, weekend. Okay, the dates again are? March 2nd from 3 till 8. It's the Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Friday, March 3rd, 3 till 8. And Saturday, 9 a.m. till 2, the March the 4th. Thank you for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. And uh, this is great. I love, I love this idea. I think it's awesome.